Today's medical-centric topic is probiotics versus prebiotics. Which do you need more? Why gut health matters. Your gut is home to trillions of bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms, collectively known as the gut microbiome. A healthy balance of these microbes is linked to better digestion, stronger immunity, and even improved mood. Two popular buzzwords in gut health are probiotics and prebiotics. But what's the difference? And which one do you really need more? What are probiotics? Probiotics are live, beneficial bacteria that help maintain balance in your gut. They are found in fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, and kombucha, as well as in supplements. Benefits of probiotics include Restoring healthy bacteria after antibiotics Supporting digestion and reducing bloating Helping manage diarrhea or constipation Boosting immunity and lowering risk of infections Potentially improving mental health via the gut-brain axis However, probiotic effects vary by strain and not all supplements contain the same benefits. What are prebiotics? Prebiotics are non-digestible fibers that act as food for the good bacteria in your gut. They help probiotics grow and thrive. Common prebiotic sources include garlic, onions, bananas, oats, asparagus, and flax seeds. Benefits of prebiotics include feeding beneficial bacteria and improving microbiome diversity supporting regular bowel movements, enhancing absorption of minerals like calcium and magnesium, strengthening the immune system by fostering healthier gut flora. Unlike probiotics, prebiotics are not living organisms. They're dietary fibers that fuel the bacteria you already have. Which do you need more? The truth is, both are important, and they work best together. Probiotics introduce healthy bacteria, while prebiotics feed and maintain them. Without prebiotics, probiotics may not survive long in the gut. Without probiotics, prebiotics can't deliver their full effect. This combination is often called a symbiotic relationship. That said, for most healthy people, a diet rich in prebiotic fibers is more sustainable long term. Probiotics can be useful after illness, antibiotic use, or digestive problems, but they may not be necessary every day if your gut is already healthy. Risks and Considerations Probiotics may cause temporary bloating or gas in some people. Prebiotics can cause discomfort if consumed in excess, especially for those with IBS. Supplements vary widely in quality. Food sources are generally safer and more reliable. Bottom line. Probiotics and prebiotics aren't rivals, they're partners. Prebiotics provide the fuel and probiotics provide the workforce. Together, they keep your gut microbiome balanced and thriving. The best approach? Eat a variety of fiber-rich plant foods daily and include fermented foods regularly. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.